Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Brahmos is one of the many missiles which China fears the most. Many countries, especially the ASEAN countries which is an international organization that has 10 member countries in Southeast Asia wants Brahmos missile. Most of these countries face the threat from China which lays claim to most of the waters within so called 9 dash line which is also contested by Brunei, Malaysia, Philippines, Taiwan and Vietnam. As per the exclusive report from G Business, India is likely to sell its highly acclaimed Brahmos missile to Vietnam, signaling a deepening defense cooperation between the two countries. The development comes close to Vietnam's defense minister plan to visit New Delhi on 19th June. The potential deal with Vietnam will cost around $625 million. India has already sealed a deal with Philippines for Brahmos missile system worth $374 million. Brahmos Aerospace is also expecting second order of Brahmos missile system worth $300 million with Philippines. The Brahmos Aerospace is looking for sealing another deal with Indonesia which will worth $200 million. Thailand, Malaysia and Egypt have also expressed their interest in purchasing the Brahmos weapon system. As we all know that India has set an armaments export target of $5 billion by 2025 to achieve self-reliance in developing and building weapons and platforms. Brahmos is going to play a vital role in meeting India's defense export target. While India had already achieved $1.75 billion of defense export in 2022, it is targeting for $2.37 billion of export in 2023. In order to boost the defense export, India is carrying out reforms in military attaches deployment abroad. India is redeploying military attaches to countries where they can help to increase domestic defense exports. The move will also reduce the number of military officers stationed in states from which country traditionally imports military equipment. The officers will be focused on Africa, Southeast Asian nations and Middle East. The government is also going to allow attaches to promote the sale of hardware manufactured by private sector of the country. The reform makes perfect sense as India is moving towards the self-reliance in defense manufacturing and reduce its import dependency. Therefore, there is no point in maintaining a significant number of attaches in countries which have been exporting weapon system to us. The Western countries promote sale of their hardware in India or other countries with their military personnel accompanied by sales team to make the pitch. India is also going to follow the same strategy. The Indian defense attache can play a pivotal role in understanding the defense requirements of respective country and can promote the export of Indian defense products in their respective countries. India is offering its key home-built weapons and platforms including Tejas fighters, light combat and utility helicopters, Akash missile batteries, artillery guns, Pinaka rocket launchers, besides armored vehicles, mobility vehicles, drones, lottery munitions, small arms, offshore patrol vessels, interceptor crafts, communication and surveillance equipment. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.